Let's now go over the effects section. They shouldn't be too hard as there are just two effects, a chorus and a flanger. Now before we start, let's set up the oscillator and filter section. I'll use a sawtooth. And for the second wave shape, some kind of a pulse. With the pulse width somewhere around 42%. We'll leave the filter as LP24 fat and have the cutoff set to about there. Let's also add the sine wave since we now know about it. It's a great way to reinforce that fundamental frequency in the sound. Now let's use the chorus. We can turn it on with the switch, though the more important dial is the mix control. Because if it's set all the way down to zero, we will not hear any chorusing, even if it's on. But we will hear the chorusing once I bring this mix dial up. Okay, so how exactly does a chorus work? It is based on a delay line, a very short delay that is, and the delay time is modulated with an LFO. If you ever played with the delay time on a delay unit while it's outputting audio, you would have noticed how it modulates the pitch. This modulated sound is then mixed in with the original sound to create the chorusing effect. And that's what you're hearing here. This dial controls the rate of the modulation. In other words, the rate at which the LFO modulates the delay time. It will start to get dissonant sounding if the rate is too high. Not easy to discern the chord quality with this kind of chorusing. But if the mix is brought down, it will sound a bit better, as we are now hearing the unprocessed sound as well. Ideally, somewhere at the 1 hertz mark would sound nice. Cool, so that's chorusing. Now let's try the flanger. It's pretty much the same concept, except that the delay time is even shorter and the processed sound is fed back into the flanger to create feedback. This creates a very metallic whooshing timbre that's, that's very stereotypical of most flangers. So you can hear that metallic timbre that I was talking about. We could probably play with the filter to exaggerate that whooshing sound. Now if the LFO rate is pushed up quite high, it starts to get dissonant, just like in the chorus. But a pretty interesting effect nonetheless. And just like in the chorus, you can bring the mix down. It starts sounding less dissonant as you start to get back more of the dry sound. You should also notice the stereo widening effect that happens to the sound in the flanger as well as the chorus. If you're using headphones, you should be able to hear this quite clearly as I turn on and off the effects section. So that was the effects section, pretty straightforward. Now we're going to skip the glide section for now as I'll get back to it later when we go over the global controls. For now let's go into the modulators, specifically the LFO and vibrato. <laughs> 